Yes! I'm special, so that you wanna jump on my vessel You ain't ever gonna get another big frisk I am out of this world, I'm an extraterrestrial Tell a man don't get disrespectful, you will get quenched Fam, I don't wrestle, I'm a rebel I stare death in the face so many times Till I survive, I'm special, huh? Yeah, it can get gory, my temper shorter than shorty I've had so many ups and downs Me up Ooh, you're hard, showing off Got such an interesting story from day one Mum said I was special I used to see man drinking Kestrel I said forget that, can't forget that We made something from nothing that special Shout out Mumsy, I know you're special Couldn't have been easy raising a rebel They won't be if I'm milking again Capital F, I've never been sweet like Nestle Bless you right before I catch you Rise it up then quiff you When they tried to say that grime was dead Boy, I better know to the Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy Toot And welcome to another vlog Now, as you can see, I went into the garage this morning because I need to get this out now the only problem is I need to move this and this which is the washing machine and that's a dishwasher out the way before I can fully get this out photograph it found out how much it's going to cost and then stick it on eBay so it looks like I'm in for a fun morning been dodging bullets since I left the matrix something from nothing like I'm selling blank discs I'm yelling yeah 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 Ten of you but one of me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a different kind of J. Dodgy when it says he's right on the top. Well, I've got to sometimes. <laughs> Not tall enough. I know that feeling well. <laughs> the the yeah, well, I'm meant to be a carpenter, so. <laughs> right, so I've got the, uh, I shall have an out. I need to put the washing machine in its place and then move over the tumble dryer. I got the uh, GoPro set up up there for the time lapse that you're probably already seeing. Just stopping now, just take my coat off. It's a little bit hot. That was quite good actually. I've never actually used the GoPro with its sticky mount now, just to put it up on the joist and just time lapse. But here's the oven. Um, doesn't actually come with any needs a little bit of a clean it's still a bit greasy but um, now I need to try and find out how much money this is made in Germany now I've got the task of finding out how much the oven actually costs it's been a few days since I did all the Nef Double Oven stuff and got it all out. Um, that's what I found out was the Nef Double Oven, uh, brand new, around 500 quid. And I put it up for 150 on a Facebook buy and sell website, well, page thing. I had a few responses, but uh, people were just playing me about to be honest. People are arranging viewings, um, and when I'm telling them time, it's just completely ignoring me, so to hell with it. Uh, there was a guy who said he's going to get back to me on Saturday, he's currently in, on holiday at the moment. Um, but to be honest, I think I'm just going to stick it on eBay for 150 uh, Or start it off at like 120 uh, with a like, minimum bid kind of thing. Uh, I'll do that tonight probably. It is Friday though and tomorrow is Saturday, so I might wait till after work tomorrow to see what I'll actually do about it. And hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy too. Now the vlog was a little bit... Um short so I'm going to try and do an extension on it I'll be doing a room tour so let's just go in straight away and straight away on the left we've got my netbook here uh, my desk I'm just going to sit down on my desk a minute um, this is my netbook this is basically what I do everything on oh, my sick truck from truck simulator there uh, this is basically what I do everything on editing uploading um, that there is my portable hard drive uh, one terabyte uh, that's where most of the storage goes because this being a netbook it doesn't have much uh, storage internally so I bought an, uh, an external hard drive and yeah I've got a few books over there um, they're just sort of to hide the wires from there and then if you actually look underneath all the wires are there I've tried to hide it with a phone not with a phone box with a, uh, a little uh, shoe box old monitor under my desk uh, a little wire hanging down there, it shouldn't be hanging down there, that's from the charger. But yeah, so most of the wires are actually hidden. Um, over on the left side, we've just got, you know, a bit of a aftershave. We've got actually a, a pocket roulette and a little bell there. Um, 
Fourth Direct mug with some pens and a dollar in it from when I went to New York. Uh, yeah, anyway, the books I've got, I've uh, got some facts. I've got a Fred Dibner book, absolute legend. A few Motor Railway books and another Band in Places book. Now, my Xbox 360 is out of the shittest telly in the world, as you can see. What happened was my other one broke, and now I'm stuck with that one until I can afford a new one. A few DVDs up there, uh, games, PS3 games as well. PS4 is downstairs, actually, in my office. Well, I don't really class it as my office. Star Wars posters. Um, a map of Los Santos up there from GTA 5. My six slippers. There's actually a sock there as well. Very nice. Um... I go around above my bed. I've actually got a Stamford Bridge um, plaque there, and this is when I went to the snooker. Oh, I wish I did a vlog for the snooker, to be honest. Um, what do you see, Ronnie and Sullivan um, live in the UK Championship final? Uh, that's a little headset earpiece thing you put on. Flying Scotsman, you might remember from the Flying Scotsman vlog, I got this. This is the ticket and everything. Got it for free. Got to go on the Flying Scotsman for free. Absolute wonderful. Uh, down here is my bedside table. My Lenovo Tab 4. Um, maybe doing some gardening. Uh, all my stuff where I've been. So, New York, Paris, Rome, Pisa, and that's just an angry bird. That's a train, and I got my plants. Cactus, very spiky. And a money plant here that actually needs watering. It's getting huge. It wasn't this big. I need to. There we are. Uh, Wenlock from London 2012. And this actually is one of the first joints I ever made as a carpenter. Very nice. That was about three years ago now. Juggling balls and my gnome. Um, pencil case, marker knife. That should be in the garage. A few bits and bobs. That's a shave. My shelf of camera equipment and a Ronnie O'Sullivan son's cute snooker ball. A light that needs uh, back, back, bike backlight that needs replacing. Subway cards there. I don't really need tissues. Uh, rechargeable battery things. SD card. SD card readers. GoPro mounts and all mounts for my cameras. There they are. I did a review on that one, so you can check out that video. And that one actually decided it wants to work now because I put a spare battery in it. Now it wants to work. My uh, Kodak. Oh, is that actually another name for this camera? I think I'm. Well, I'm guessing it is the Kodak uh, Pix or oh, whatever that is. There. It's an okay camera, to be honest. I'm recording it on my phone now, and I think my phone's now got a better camera, my better quality than this. This is more for taking pictures than recording, to be quite honest. Uh, a few boxes. Nice man bag. Um, no, uh, just a bag there to carry the camera. Um, lamp bin. Uh, under there, Chelsea kind of flag thing, and work jacket, West Somerset railway jacket there, super dry, but yeah, that's about it, to be honest, and my chair as well, those are shite time on my bed as well, but I'm not going to show you all that, well, I'll go and show you the office actually, the office is in a bit of a mess at the moment, but this is where the PS4 is kept, was well, just the telly, my um, desk and setup used to actually be on this desk here, but uh, I moved it upstairs just into my room. Um, my tripod is actually here. Still, I haven't moved my tripod. And that's my, well, a desk lamp that I was using. And then my headphones as well, actually. Not part of the room tour, but uh, here's me fish. Nice. And actually, I'm going to show you. Put the tripod down. Move the fish food out of the way. When I went to Italy, in Venice, they had Venice. They had these little things. This is just a glass ball for the bear that floats. And these very detailed little creatures. I'll try and get one in my hand for you. So I've got a few of these, and they're all made of glass. All made of glass. And they're really cool, and they just float. You just put them in the water. Like they float about. It looks pretty sick. The octopus there. The whale. And probably my favourite is the little diver. And you put them in the uh, tank, and they all look pretty cool actually, along with the sanded fishy swimming. But yeah, that's my fish tank. And of course, guys, the model railway. Now, I'm so sorry I have not posted a video at all on the model railway recently. It must have been at least a few months, maybe even three. Um, but yeah, this is how it's getting on. I'm not quite sure if you've seen any of this progress here along the bottom of the hill and working out. 
Um, it is getting there. Uh, I mean, this is probably one of my favourite areas. Uh, it does need a little bit more done to it. I mean, obviously I've got a gradient sign there. Um, it looks quite good. And that fence, I think that looks really good, like that shot. But it just, just needs touching up, just needs touching up. If I actually go around, I mean, all these trees, it's all looking really, really good. If I actually go around this side, I mean, I've kind of gone from scatter here to the grass sheeting and I'm tr trying to blend it in I need a little bit more lighter colours, different colours, just try and blend it in but uh, you might be able to see there's also some sleepers just on the side of the track um, another gradient sign there and there's also one there uh, this is actually going to be a hill going up here, it's going to go up and then there's going to be a bridge and then the road's just going to kind of go over there um, it's getting on well, I've got a few gradient signs just dotted around the place, there's one there but yeah, it's getting there guys, it's getting there. I recently added this little way bridge, it's not the best, it's just built out of paper, I think. Um, a house on top of the hill, mallard, with an OA and a, I don't know what class of loco that actually is. If anybody knows that class of loco there, please let me know. A bit of fingers in the way of the camera, something about that. 55, pulling a lovely freight train for the Lego guns, for some odd reason. A little train, some coal wagons. Weetabix, a BP tank thing, um, an old kind of, I uh, don't really know what that is, Lord wagon, and a McVitie's biscuit wagon, and then the King, King class is pulling two Mark 1 standard coaches, look in there, the King class, also guys, while I remember, make sure you head over to my Instagram, and follow my Instagram, I have done a few pictures of this, uh, I'll put a few on screen now, um, but yeah, make sure you head out to my Instagram at Mr. Underscore two underscore two. I think I think that's it, but I'll put it on the screen anyway for you guys to go and follow that. But yes, guys, that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I haven't done a vlog in ages, and I want to start doing them again. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe, give it a like, uh, comment. Uh, anything share the video come on let's try and get mr. 2 to 200 subscribers by the end of the year um, if I keep making content let's see if I can do it what do you guys want to see though do you want to see gaming videos like I did it I uh, experimented with a few live streams and stuff it did I got a, a few subscribers um, if you guys want to see uh, gaming videos or if you want to see vlogs like today then let me know it down in the comments I might even put a poll on the screen now if I remember uh, but yeah make sure you tell me what would you would rather have with my content and guys I have been too and I'll see you later thank you very much for watching